Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Deirdre and today I created this super dark vampy look for you. I don't know why, but I'm just feeling dark and vampy and cool toned in these past few videos. So if you like this look and you want to learn how to recreate it, then please keep on watching. Welcome back to another episode of Holy Crap, I Haven't Played With That Palette in a Million Years. It's kind of what every one of my videos seems like it's turned out to be, so today is no different. Um, kind of got a darker, vampy look. I'm thinking that I must subconsciously really be craving for winter and fall because I am doing everything anti-summer, anti-warm, and more dark and smoky and fall-like, and so hopefully it will be here sooner rather than later. But I live in Tampa, so probably will be later than later than later, if at all. So, with that being said, I'm going to start off by applying a MAC Eyeshadow Copper Plate in my crease with a fluffy crease brush. Just apply this in the crease area, back and forth, windshield wiper motions. Just lightly, I don't want too dark of a color, I'm just kind of sitting this down as a base for my other transition colors. And then next from the um, Urban Decay Papillon, is that how you say it? Papillon? Papillon? I don't know if it's Papillon or Papillon palette. We're going to go with that color Money and we are going to apply that into the crease as well. Right on top of where we applied that copper plate. Just to give it a bit of color. And I want to take it like more into my inner corner up towards my brow. And then using a fluffy but soft bullet point um, tip, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna apply some black into the crease area. And I'm gonna start it off lightly just in the arch. Just kind of like as a guide. And I'm gonna kind of bring it out and up. And I'm gonna bring it a little bit towards the bridge of my nose on the inner corner. And then I'm going to go back in with that original fluffy brush and just kind of blend it out. And then with the pencil brush, I'm going to kind of go over that again just to define it a little bit better. We're not necessarily doing like a cut crease, so I don't want it to be like super sharp but I do want to give it some definition. And I'm just going to go little by little, adding color and blending it out until I have it looking how I want it. So then I'm going to go back in with that mini color and just kind of blend out that black a little bit. Then I think to add just a little bit of a little something something, I'm going to take this color height and I'm going to ever so lightly place a little bit on the outer corner, but I don't want it to be too harsh or too much. I just want to give a little bit of additional color and depth, so I'm going to blend it out. Next I'm going to take gunmetal and we are going to apply that to the lid. to kind of press it, tap it onto the lid just so that it sticks to the base and then 
know, once I get it placed where I want it, then I can start blending it out. And then I'm just going to kind of take that crease brush that we are using before, but I just wiped it off so there's not really any product on it. And we're going to kind of connect it up. Next for my highlight color, I'm going to take Brulee from MAC. I don't really want anything shimmery. I kind of want this to be matte. Then I'm going to work on my lower lash line. I'm going to add some color. So I'm going to take this pigment. I believe it's a MAC pigment. It's, um, it's called Maroon. It's a very old pigment, but it's a really pretty color. And with that same bullet brush, I just wiped it off. I'm going to apply this to the lower lash line and smoke it down. And then with that seam fluffy crease brush that we use on top, I'm going to use that to soften the edges and blend it out. And I'm going to kind of take it up a little bit. Into that outer part of the upper eye. And just blend it in. Next I'm going to go into my um, waterline and lower lash line with this matte cool pencil in the color called Raven which is like a reddish black and I'm going to place this in the waterline. Then going back in with Carbon from MAC I'm just going to take a large angled brush and I'm just going to apply this in the actual lash line of the lower lashes just to darken it up. The under eye area is looking a little purpley and I kind of wanted it a little bit more red. Um, so I'm going to add some Love Plus from Sugar Pill on that fluffy brush and we're just going to kind of add this to the lower lash line. Well not lower lash but underneath the eye where we put that maroon just to kind of Brighten it up and make it look a little bit more red than purple. Alright, so I went ahead and added some liner and some lashes off camera. These are the Lily Lashes in Miami and good gorgeous, they are long. They are long and the band is super thick. Thick in how you wish your boyfriend's penis was, but it really isn't. I'm not really used to having lash bands this thick. Except for when you buy like those cheap lashes from the Halloween store at Halloween time. That's how thick they are. But I guess you need it to be that thick when you have this many lashes in it. Because I usually use like, I usually prefer like the thin invisible line bands. So they feel really heavy and they're a little bit different. But let's move on. So I'm going to add my highlight. I'm going to apply the Maybelline Master Chrome Highlight to my cheekbones. And to my cupid's bow. And I think um, for fun, because this is kind of a gothic look, I want it to have a little bit of a lighter and a brighter highlight. So I'm going to add this highlight from Urban Decay called Sin over the top because it's a little bit lighter. Oh, yeah. Okay, so now I'm going to move on to blush, and I want to do something that's a little bit dark and vampy. So I'm going to use the Coastal Scents 26 color shadow and blush palette, and I'm going to use a little bit of a mixture of the last two colors. They are very pigmented, so I'm going to go in with a light hand to kind of place it and then blend it out, and then I will build the color up as needed. So to finish off the look, we're going to go ahead and work on the lips. So I'm going to start off by applying NYX Lip Liner in Current or Raisin. And I'm going to align my lips. Whenever I do a dark color like this, I always like to color in all of my lip. Because I feel like with darker colors, you tend to lose color in the center. And this just kind of helps make it look like it's 
maintained all the way through. Uh, so for lipstick, I'm going to use this uh, Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit in the color Goth Topic. I know I said the lipstick was going to be last, but I just realized I forgot to do an inner corner highlight. I'm so disappointed that you let me forget to add an inner corner highlight. So we're going to do it now. I'm going to use uh, this pearl white white pearl eyeshadow from NYX and I'm just going to apply this to the inner eye because this is a bright bright Whew. I'm not even define my cupid's well. I don't know. I mean, there's one out. So there you have it, folks. This is the completed look. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Electric lights. Never stop, it's how we ride Coming up until we die